Okay, folks, welcome to the next Drinking with the LNO show. I'm drinking this one next. This is Dixie's Blackened Voodoo Lager. I had actually was debating on the different um, beers I was going to get. I had seen this as a six pack and really wanted this and was like, oh, I want this, I want this, but I didn't want to buy a whole six pack. I had chosen the Naughty Ginger and then, ooh, nice head, look at that. Ooh, it's coming out. Ooh. Oh, I forgot, I froze it. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> look at this. Oh my god, this is great. So so basically what had happened was I had picked the ginger and was going to um, the counter and um, saw this in like uh, basically um, a bunch of um, single beers they had. And uh, it was, it was, uh, what do you call it? Uh, <laughs> warm. So when I got home, I put it in the um, freezer. Uh, freezer. <laughs> and because um, I wanted to drink it. And, ooh. So as you can see, it's very chunky with ice. <laughs> this is funny. This is actually like, from New Orleans. Um, that was one thing I, I liked about the uh, six packs um, we talked about. Oh, and actually, it's right on here. Uh, the Century Old Dixie Brewery was almost destroyed by Hurricane Katrina, but but restoration is underway with the help of our friends. We're working hard to re-beer. I love that word, re-beer. New Orleans and the rest of the country. Inspired by the old folk brewing methods, this bewitching, I love that word, all malt brew is a darkly rich, exotic lager crafted with a touch of magical New Orleans spirit. Um... pretty good. I was afraid to buy a whole six in the sense that I was afraid it was going to be, <laughs> this is so funny, I was uh, afraid it was going to be um, too dark. I, it's, uh, dark beers are alright. I don't want too dark. This is funny though. It's like, oh, it's like drinking a beer icy. <laughs> I'm listening to the, um, a cover of this band, Metrononomy, it's a song called Corrine. This is actually a cover by another band of this Bat Band song there called Bernotti and Sergio cover. This song is a, actually gaining in popularity, uh, strangely enough, the meaning of a song is a gentleman who is in the military who's been kicked out and he misses his gun, which he named Corrine. Corinne, it looks like my friend, that's I got it for her, and we were kind of discussing the meaning of it, and which made me look into of the actual meaning of a song, and I was quite surprised when I found out that it's about this guy's obsession with his gun. And it's weird because, yes, I've, because men name inanimate objects with a woman's name. Um, this is actually in, I don't know if it's in Full Metal Jacket, I think that's the one. And I think he names his gun Lucy, if I'm not wrong. I can't remember. It's been a long time since I've seen that movie. But, strangely enough, it made me remember that I actually 
my chainsaws and my axes are named Nancy after Nancy Sinatra. Corrupted by Nancy Sinatra is one of my sayings. I love Nancy Sinatra. Her, her, her music is just awesome. Um, I'll drink a little bit more of this. <laughs> this is so weird. It's very cold, that's why I'm making these faces. This is actually a really good beer, so once again, Dixie Black and Voodoo Lager. Um, check it out, it's pretty good beer. Um, check out good music. Uh, Metronomy, M-E-T-R-O-N-O-M-E. Corrine or Corinne, C O R I N N E. They're coming out with a remix album of uh, the English Riviera, and it has four versions of this song on it. More more versions of this song remixes and that than any other song on the album that comes out March, I believe, six. Pretty interesting. Once again, drinking with the Yellow No Show. Au revoir.